Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a celebrity inspired makeup look. And as we all know who the hottest girl is in Hollywood right now, that would be Miss Kylie Jenner. Um, so today's look is going to be this one right here. I really loved it because as you know, she's always like full glam all the time. And with this look, I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was so fresh and very like young and natural looking. So I wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial based on that look. Also another thing I wanted to do differently with this video is kind of a talk through video because I know that I haven't done one since I pretty much started my YouTube channel. So no voiceovers today. I really wanted to be able to interact with you guys a little bit more on this video. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So first I'm just going to moisturize my face. I am using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. This stuff is very good. I love the way it feels on my skin. I have pretty normal skin but it's, sometimes I do feel like I can get a bit dry in certain areas so I've really grown to love this moisturizer still getting used to this camera it's kind of weird this is my first time filming in this what this is my first time filming in my room um, for a makeup tutorial so I hope the lighting is okay if not please let me know so next I'm going to if I can find it I am going to prime my face using my Smashbox photo finish primer I have been noticing that my pores are getting like a little bit more enlarged I don't know if it's because I'm not used to wearing so much makeup and I just recently started wearing a lot of makeup in the last maybe six months since I've been filming and going to work, I have to wear a lot more makeup. So I really like to just focus on putting that primer in my T-zone area. I'm going to start to apply my foundation. And for my foundation, I am using the Born This Way by Too Faced. I really really love this foundation it's coconut what has coconut water in it and it's just so natural looking I love the way that this foundation makes my face feel and it just has such like a natural finish to it and I love that I'm just using my pro airbrush 55 from Sephora to dab it on and then I'll go in with my beauty blender and make sure everything is blended out I feel like a dog right now. <laughs> okay, so my best friend bought me um, the Alex and Ani, or Alex and Ani, I'm not sure how to say it. She got me um, the best friends bracelet, so she has the best and I have the friend side. And I love it, I'm like so obsessed with it. But if you hear jingling, that's what that is. It's actually really annoying. <laughs> oh my God. Make sure that everything is blended down my neck so we have no ugly lines. Since I have a better camera today, I can finally show you guys my beautiful view. I did want to let you guys know, um, I usually start with my eyes anytime I'm doing a makeup tutorial only because I don't like any fallout to happen. However, this is a very natural, natural look and the eyes are very subtle so I thought I could start with the face first and then we'll do the eyes afterwards. Next, I'm going to be doing my concealer which Kylie is really well known for having that very, very highlighted um, under eye so I'm going to make sure that I do go in a little bit more than usual because although it is a more natural look, this is probably one of her signature things is to have a very highlighted under eye and a very mattified face so that's what our key focus is going to be for today to highlight under my eyes i'm going to be using my sephora pro contour highlight and that's the number 80. i just put it on the back of my hand i feel like i like the application a lot better when i do it this way as opposed to using the actual stick that comes inside the concealer 
And for the concealer, I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the number 20. What I'm going to be doing, usually I just go right along my orbital bone. But for this look, I am going to be highlighting a lot more than usual. So I'm going to be creating that triangle of light. Also, I am doing like a tapping and stippling motion because not only do I want the foundation to be a little bit more dramatic in this area, but I really want it to stay throughout the day. So next I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just pat everything in and make sure that it's all blended out seamlessly. I'm really not putting too much pressure as I'm doing this because I don't really want to lift any of the product. I just want to lightly tap it and push it into my skin. I notice sometimes when I go in a little bit harder, it tends to pick up some of the product because I feel like it notices that like my face has too much in one area. So it'll pick up some of the product. That noise is driving me nuts. <laughs> I got some exciting news. Today I woke up and I got an invite to a appreciation party from a makeup line and I'm pretty excited. I'm very excited. It's like not for another month or so, but I'm very, very excited about it. I'm going to be bringing my best friend with me. So I thought, I don't know if you guys have seen my what should I wear video, but I'm thinking about doing another one so that way I can help um, have you guys help me decide what to wear to this party. You guys really seem to like that video and I got a lot of great feedback and I was able to choose my outfit based on your guys' comments and your guys' thoughts. So it was kind of cool. So I definitely will be doing something like that again. And I'm just taking whatever's left on my beauty blender and I'm just bringing it onto my chin. Next step is my Ben Nye setting powder. I'm going to be using this guy right here to just go over and um, not so much bake, but just to set everything that we just did. All I'm going to be doing is just putting this all along the highlighted parts of my face and really just pushing the product in to my skin to give that really nice like mattified look. I have this like obnoxious mirror because I have no freaking mirror in here. If you guys saw like my last videos from when I lived in Vegas before I moved here, I had it all set up. It was so cute. I had my own little desk, my own little vanity. Everything looked so cute. And then we decided to move to California, which means downsizing tremendously, getting a one bedroom apartment, and no room for myself. How was a girl supposed to live? I don't think my boyfriend thinks about me in these situations. We're going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. For this, I am using my Too Faced bronzer in the Dark Chocolate Soleil. I'm going to use just a little bit just to kind of warm up the face. I really want this look to be as natural as possible. So I'm going with a very light hand. I'm just adding some color. All right, so next I'm going in with my Sephora um, blush, and this is the blush called Heated, number 16. It is such a nice rosy color, and it has little, little specks of glitter, but it's nothing like too dramatic. Um, I'm just taking a little bit of this on my Sephora. Um, I'm actually using the blush contour. I believe it's number 74. Just applying some of the color on that tapping it, making it very light, and I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Like I said, it's going to be a very natural look. Um, mostly was gonna focus on having a mattified face, 
um, a little bit of rosy cheeks and a lot of highlight because that she does have. With my Sephora Pro Contour number 79, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this Champagne Pop by Becca and I'm just going to apply this to the highest point of my cheekbones and I'm kind of doing this like U shape. It gives like a really, really like perfect highlight. And I'm gonna go over that again. And one more time. So now you guys can really see how that highlight like pops. All right, so that is it for the complexion part of the face. Now for our eyes, I'm first going to be starting off with my Browsings by Benefit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. Her eyebrows are very, very natural. They're not very sculpted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly follow my natural brow shape. Now that our eyebrows are done, I'm going to be using my Tartlet Palette by Tarte. It has some really, really pretty, pretty um, matte shades. First, I'm gonna go ahead and take this color, which is called Wanderer, and I'm gonna put that into the crease. I'm also using my Sephora Brush Pro Tapered Crease Brush number 19. So I can't find my flat brush, it just disappeared and grew legs and walked away somewhere. So I'm going to be using my Kat Von D um, Shade Light brush and I'm going to be using the more fluffier side to apply this color. I'm going to be taking the color Force of Nature and I'm going to apply that to the eyelids. And next, I'm gonna go in with this brown um, eyeliner by MAC. I'm not sure, chestnut I think is the color. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of tight line the eyes and just add a little bit of um, a liner on top. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes using my Tarte Eyelash Curler. This eyelash curler is amazing. We're just gonna go in and coat those lashes with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna be using the Define a Lash um, by Maybelline. This stuff is amazing. I literally, you guys, I have no eyelashes, but this works miracles. And also she does always add mascara to her lower lashes, so we'll go ahead and do our lower lashes as well. So now that our eyelashes are done, the last thing that we have to do is our lips. Her lips were very, very natural for this look, so I'm going to be using my NYX lip liner, and this is in the color Natural. And then we're gonna just throw a lipstick on top of this to diffuse the color just a little bit. Last but not least, I am going to be using this lipstick by, I wanna say it is L'Oreal in the number 247 Frosted. It is kind of a funky color. It's like almost a champagne color. All I'm gonna do is just pop this right into the middle of our lips. So this is the finished look for my Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. It is very natural as you can see. Um, very light on the eyes. No contour, mainly just a little bit of bronzer, some highlight on the cheekbones, on the nose, and more of a matte 
and natural look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like it and subscribe so you guys can see more of my celebrity inspired makeup tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.